tragedies, unsolved mysteries, stories we never really got the answers to. But as Malaysians, these stories are need to know and they mustn't be forgotten. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 left KLIA on March 8, 2014 at 12.41 a.m. and disappeared an hour and a half later en route to Beijing, China. The flight had 227 passengers and 12 crew on board and was commanded by highly experienced Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah along with his co-pilot Farig Abdul Hamid. At 1.19 a.m., the captain acknowledged an instruction from Malaysian air traffic controllers with the words, Good night, Malaysian 370, which was the last recorded radio transmission from MH370. But during the handover from Malaysian to Vietnamese air traffic controllers, the aircraft disappeared. Satellite data showed that it suddenly changed course, flew back across peninsular Malaysia, turning south of Penang to the northwest, and then towards the southern Indian Ocean. The plane eventually ran out of fuel and was believed to have crashed in the Indian Ocean west of Australia, far from its intended destination. Over the next few months, search operations began over the Gulf of Thailand, the South China Sea, as well as the Indian Ocean, with the help of several countries including Indonesia, Australia and the US. Search efforts only found possible debris from the flight, but none of it confirmed. Over a year later, on July 29, 2015, the first confirmed debris was found on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. On February 27, 2016, two more Boeing 777 debris were discovered on a beach in Mozambique, and an analysis completed in March concluded that the debris is almost definitely from MH370. On July 22, Malaysia, China and Australia agreed to suspend the search if the aircraft is not located by the time 120,000 square kilometres had been covered. On January 17, 2017, the underwater search for MH370 was suspended nearly three years after the plane vanished. About a year later, a US-based marine robotics company called Ocean Infinity started conducting a new search for the plane, but the search formally ended with no new findings in May 2018. In July 2018, the government released a detailed but inconclusive report saying the real cause of the flight's disappearance could not be determined. However, it did not rule out the possibility of unlawful interference by a third party. On March 3, 2019, at the 5th annual MH370 Remembrance event, then Transport Minister Anthony Loke said the government was willing to listen to proposals from any exploration or search companies with credible leads and having the technology to restart the search. Earlier this year, reports suggested that Ocean Infinity was going to resume its search on a no-fee, no-find basis, but there are no new updates on that. The disappearance of Flight MH370 has been dubbed one of the greatest aviation mysteries of all time, and there are many unanswered questions till this day. Was it technical issues? Could it have been a terror attack? And if not the pilots, who could have flown the plane off course? Sadly, we may never find the answers.